Hey guys, I just got home from work early a little bit ago, so I figured that I would film another thrift haul. What else is new? I should really come up with some other types of content. But, um, I had this stuff lying around for a few days, and I would like to put it away, so I figured I would take advantage of this extra time I have to film this for you guys. First... I got this set of trays. Now, it was a set of three, but I already have one down on my uh, chest that I use as a coffee table, the biggest of the three, and I don't feel like picking it up and taking all the stuff off of it, but they're all the same. Um, I've got this kind of red textured stuff at the bottom. There is the smallest one, and here is the medium one. There's kind of gold flecks on the texture. watching me from the floor. She's like, what are you doing? this really ugly um, parasol or umbrella, maybe both, I'm not sure. It's got this chain, that dangles from the handle, a plastic handle, and it says that the handle was made in Italy. So fancy. Oh, by the way, the uh, trays were um, $5.99 for the set of three, so I thought that was a really good deal. My mom was like, I'll buy those if you don't want them. I'm like, no girl, I am buying them. That sounded so douchey right there. Anyway, the reason that I bought this ugly thing for $2.97 is because I went to the Ren Fair. I go every year, as many of you know, and they had these stands where they're selling stuff, and they were selling old umbrellas and parasols for, like, so much money. Like, really bad shape like this one for so much money. So... You know, I had to get in on that. So it has the cover, which is like the dingiest part. Just like this, very 1970s. This is really bad luck to open up an umbrella inside, huh? Living on the edge. How much worse can you get anyway? Anyway, so this is what it looks like. And, um, yeah. Not sure what the chain was for, but that's pretty rusty. This little snap. Okay.
that I could have done this for. But there we go. I actually forget what this thing is. Like, I can feel the shape of it. Who are these people? Who are they? I don't know. So this is a Precious Moments Peacock figurine, and I only bought this so that I could sell it on eBay because it was only 97 cents, and it's collectible, so not really my aesthetic, but there are some people that collect these kind of things. another scarf. Now, this one is not from my regular Goodwill, because my regular Goodwill, as I brag about all the time, their scarves are always only a dollar. This one was $2.97, which is kind of pricey for me in terms of scarves, but I'm really trying to collect a lot of these, because I told you about my little canopy idea in my last haul, so, and this one was really pretty, it's like, got red in it, reds and oranges and blues and sparkles and stuff, so, I thought that it was nice. These things are kind of random. They're iridescent, of course, which you guys know that I'm obsessed with anything iridescent. Throwing off those beautiful rainbow hues that I love so much. So they are technically like little candle holder lantern-y things and came with all four in a set and what i like about them is that like the little charms on the bottom are all different this green one is my favorite because it's got a really pretty stone and these little dangly things hanging off of it really cool you can't really pick up on the iridescence of them on camera but i promise that they are or else i probably wouldn't have bought them and I think my neighbors are vacuuming, so that's great. Hope you guys are relaxed by vacuuming sounds, as well as dogs chewing on things loudly and obnoxiously. Closer look at the clear one. This one just has chains hanging down from it. This pink one has these little red glass beads and these little bars hanging off of it. And the last
lastly, this blue one. These little glass blue beads. These little tin etched beads. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but it is missing a big chunk right off the side. And I think that happened at the Goodwill. They were all in a bag together, which isn't really the best way to package a bunch of fragile glass things. So the little chunk that's missing is actually on the inside of here, and I could glue it back on, but I don't know if it's worth doing that, or if I should just keep it out. I don't know. I don't really think it makes a big difference, but I'll probably try to fix it anyway. Because that's just how I do. It's going to bother me if I don't. And if I throw away the extra piece of glass, I don't know if there's like a name for it, if this is like a disorder or something, but I will feel bad for the piece of glass that I threw away. Like, it belonged with this, and I just threw it away like a piece of trash, which I guess technically it would be, but you know, as if the chunk of glass has feelings. I don't know, is anybody else like that? these folders. I almost bought two of the lizard ones and the spider one. I was like, that's overkill. Why do I even need folders in my adult life? These were 50 cents a piece and they were really cool. I mean, at least my mom and I thought that they were. This one has a fly on it and flies gross me out, but <laughs> for some reason I thought this one was super cool. But yeah, they also had a tarantula and a frog. And I was super mad, um, but I didn't say anything, because in the moment I was like, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. The girl at the counter seems like she's having a rough day, but she charged me an extra dollar. And it was like a discount store. So that's like a big deal. That's like two more folders that I did not get. Anyway, here is the lizard, and I don't know how many of you guys know, but lizards are my favorite animal. Oh, wrong shoulder. Lizards. <laughs> I had a couple of anoles growing up, and I just think that they're the cutest, coolest little things. I don't own any now because I feel like I would kill them. <laughs> they're a little bit more fragile than dogs. So, also, cleaning cages and aquariums is. from that same store, I got four of these Neutrogena concealers. They were a dollar a piece. They're supposed to be skin clearing. Right now the concealer that I use is the Alme with salicylic acid in it, so it's supposed to cover your pimples and kind of help get rid of them at the same time. These are the same idea and they were a lot cheaper. Now because they were at the store, I don't know if there's something wrong with them, but I guess I'll have to find out.
last two things that I got from that store is this just sparkly what is this? eye enhancers. Sombra, what is it? No, something in a different language. Uh, Champ? It's the color Champ. I don't even know. Either way, I thought that it would be good as a highlight color. It's kind of shiny. I needed a new highlight color. It's by CoverGirl. They actually had a pretty good selection of eyeshadows and stuff this time, which they usually don't. Usually they just have a lot of lipsticks and stuff like that. Fantasy Makers Eyeshadow Duo in, I don't think it says, oh, it's in Trick or Treat, which is pretty cute. So it's got, if I can ever get it open. Okay, bad design. Anyway, so it's got this glittery black color and this sort of metallic red. It's hard to find red eyeshadow, so I thought that was cool. I can also always use black because I always put black in my corners no matter how I do my eyeshadow. I also use wet black eyeshadow as eyeliner in my um, waterline, which it's all worn off because I just got back from work and I didn't touch up my makeup. But fun fact, if you wet eyeshadow and use like a really narrow brush, it lasts way longer than eyeliner and it goes on a lot darker. I also think it's a lot more cost effective. It's by Big Mouth Ink, which they're probably trying to be like Fred. So if you guys know what brand Fred is, they make like funny, like weird, quirky, sort of like kitchen utensils and housewares and stuff. And what it's supposed to be is a, well, wine glass, of course, that looks like a, the top of a diamond ring. is mangled. I didn't do that. It was already like that. So, this top part is supposed to be the diamond, which is like really gross, but really needs washed. I don't know what it was. There's like a million fingerprints on this. They are not all mine. Um, yeah, it's been through a lot at the Goodwill and probably before that. And this base is actually silicone. I thought that it was going to be glass too, or ceramic, but nope, it is silicone. So it's up to interpretation whether this actually looks like a diamond ring or not. I'm not 100% convinced, but I'm a sucker for this kind of like red, like kitchenware. I like everything around my house to be like quirky or fancy or extra. So I thought that this would fit in. But while I was at the counter paying for it, my mom was like, uh, do you think that's gonna be easy to drink out of? I was like, maybe not. Maybe that's why it's here because it's got this big lip that goes in. You have to drink out of it. 
without spilling wine down the sides. I mean, I suppose that you could drink out of it with a straw, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the look. I got one piece of human clothing to sell on eBay and one piece of moo clothing which I will show you guys on her if she lets me um, but I only bought this because it was 25% off and it's not my size it's a medium so that's totally not my size that's like at least two sizes too big but if you guys want I'll try it on anyway because I don't know if you guys like it whenever I try things on so yeah give me a second yeah this is majorly unflattering first of all it goes out here so it's like makes me look wide really yeah not my size unflattering all the way around bras always sticking out but I think this would look better on somebody with like a more modest chest. That might be cute. Looks 100% ridiculous. And I'm freezing. As for the thing that I got for Moo, I got her an ugly Christmas sweater. It's actually really soft and pretty thick. Santa's face is super soft. As is the elf and the female elf. It's just got these square panels and kind of like some turtleneck action. I'm not even 100% sure that this will fit her, but I think that it will. For pets only, that sounds like a challenge. I could totally squeeze myself into this. Warning. For pets only. Well, I never. I think I'm gonna have to try this puppy on too. What do you guys think? That's what my looks like in her Christmas sweater. Do you love it? Do you love it? I don't think she loves it. Love your Christmas sweater. Okay, we'll get that off of you. Alright guys, challenge accepted. Do you like it? It's fabulous. Um, this is the only problem here. But, um, what do you think? Christmas party worthy? Okay, so I have just a few more things to show you guys. This being the first. Man, my makeup is jacked up. But like I said, I just worked all day. What is that? I think it's trying on a dog sweater really messed up the side of my face. It says here, Santa, I have been good-ish. And this is just a little traveling jewelry box. If you can read it up there, it says it's by Brighton. That's why I bought it. Brighton is a brand name, and it's new. It still has a silica packet in it. only good to use for like one very specific occasion like if you were traveling for the holidays but I guess Brighton's like a bougier store because like who travels for the holidays so for bougie people with big families and like 
I do need a separate jewelry container for simply traveling over Christmas time. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I bought this to sell on eBay. You know, I do think it's pretty cute, but I can't see myself traveling over the holidays anytime soon. I usually just go to my parents' house for Christmas, and that's like five minutes away. Just scratch that. Shoot. Did I just scratch that? It's fine. Darn nails. Look guys, it's me and Moo. If I was soulless and if she was one of those little frou frou Westies. These chimes. Sorry if the banging is super annoying, but it's just a moon on top of a really dark cloud. And it's got dark blue accents here at the bottom. Four little chimes. Things by a hook. And I thought it was cute. Like I've talked about before, I'm kind of a sucker for like sun and moon celestial kind of stuff. And if you guys have watched my videos from way back, you will know that this matches these other two candle holders that I got a few months ago that I currently have sitting above my bed. And it says made in China. Something something that they covered up with a price sticker because they love to do that so that you can't actually know anything about the item without ripping the price sticker off. Why, why do they do that? That's so stupid. Exclusively for... Exclusively for who? I'm dying to know. Party light. Party light's like a fragrance and candle accessory company, right? Anyway, it's iridescent. Like you guys know that I'm obsessed with, clearly. And it's got these little, what would you even call these, embellishments up here, and fancy stained glass. I just thought that it was really pretty. What should today's question be? Hmm. What? Have I asked you guys this yet? Do you have any pets? Cats, dogs, lizards, spiders, cockroaches, I don't care. Have you any pets? And what are their names? If they're something with the breeds, what breed are they? Do you love them? How old are they? Give me a mini biography on your pet. I'd like to know. It can be like long distance and pals with Moo or something. Either way, it's Wednesday. Weekend's coming up. As always, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend.